One of the first things people with even a passing knowledge of the Fallout series will pick up on is that bottle caps have become the main currency of the wasteland. But why is that? In the original Fallout game, bottle caps made much more sense. Also known as hub bucks due to the hub being their point of origin, the hub merchants picked these caps as a currency due to the overall scarcity and the lack of material required to counterfeit them believably. In this first Fallout game, these bottle caps are backed by water merchants in the hub, giving them a central value as everyone wants purified water. This means that everywhere you go, they will accept the caps for a reason. By the time we hit Fallout 2, the NCR has introduced minted coinage, making bottle caps utterly obsolete as a currency. You can find a bag of 10,000 caps in a well at Broken Hills as part of Typhon's treasure quest. These are worth nothing. In Fallout 3, we see a return to caps as a currency. Unlike the original Fallout, these caps seem to be backed by no one and do not really make any sense as a form of money. Though overall, I understand and like this decision. It's nice to have a recognizable currency in the Fallout series, and bottle caps work well. Following the trend from Fallout 3, no doubt, New Vegas also has the return of bottle caps as a primary form of cash in the Mojave, but we also have NCR and Legion money being available too. This continues in Fallout 4 as there is no real explanation on what these caps are backed by, but at this point, the caps have ingrained themselves into the identity of the Fallout series. The same goes for the online prequel Fallout 76. At this point, you can just assume that the caps have just become the de facto currency of the Fallout series and no explanation is needed or given. While there is some background lore that talks about the justification of these caps, I'm speaking in this video more on a broad spectrum, a rundown more or less. Get fucked. 